Hey Tom, how are you doing? Hello mate, I'm good. Yeah, you're okay? Excellent. I'm fine, thank you. So today we're talking about this Microsoft 365. Or this mumbo jumbo. This mumbo I like to jumbo. Call it. Yes. It's, it's it's an interesting choice of name. <laughs> well, well, it is, isn't it? It's very it's close. A nice to... Way to confuse everyone, mate. I can tell you that much. Well, yeah. So hopefully we'll clarify the confusion um, for you today, won't we, Tom? Well, I'll do my best. Uh, yeah. No promises. I've never promised anything except for when I've let people down. So let's get this done. Uh, okay, <laughs> cool. I will warn you. Warn you now. We've had discussions about the purple. Carry on, Tom. No. What? Now, come on. <laughs> The purple slide deck. I'll have you know there is a purple yeah. slide deck. It's in a very, this, it's a very I can, I can, so I will um, theme, but crack on. That's something. what you think it is. It is. I believe it, it is. is just a good looking theme. Microsoft 365, what are you going to say? Uh, to be honest, yeah. yeah, let's crack on with that. Yeah, let's um, do it. <laughs> okay, so first and foremost, before I wow you with the ability to know what's already been released, um, Phil, do you remember last year? Yes. Microsoft released a SKU. Yes. Called and Secure Productive Enterprise. It was SPE, and it lasted yeah. for all of. I want to say for was it nine months? Was it yeah, that it was about October to July. Really? Was that? Eight oh. I'm not being funny, but wasn't it like you knew about it from October, but you couldn't get it until? Wasn't it available for a really short time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah kind of, it came out in November. Put it this way. Um, Secure Productive Enterprise came out in November. Right. Um, and it was this wonderful new product that Microsoft didn't advertise and didn't yeah. mention. Yeah. Which came with a certain amount of SKUs that you could prepackage into a bundle. And uh, we then decided to make a webinar on it and all sorts and do all these wonderful things. Because that's what we do at West Coast. Yeah. Yeah. We thought we as well tell people that it exists. And first of all, none of you people listened to us. Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> because no one really knew what it was even after we did the webinars and the intros and the explanation. And then July comes around and um they stand on stage at Microsoft Inspire and their big pitch for the year was Microsoft three six five. Which um I shall get into in a minute, but as I was watching their presentation, I was thinking, this sounds very similar to SPE. <laughs> and then I found out that it is exact same as SPE. SPE. And it is SPE. Yeah. Um, so it is Secure Productive Enterprise. And then I had people emailing me who are Inspire saying, no, Tom, no, no, you're wrong. It's, it's, it's revolutionary. <laughs> it's brand new. They've got all these extra bits. It's not. It's SPE. Um, so actually, it's now Microsoft 365. That's it is. what it is. Yes. Um, so some uh, interesting facts for you uh, posted from uh, the, this is at the um, Microsoft uh, Inspire event. This is a slide that they used. Um, it's basically a way of saying that all businesses now are becoming a lot more uh, collaborative with each other. They're a lot more mobile. So people out on the road working remotely from home and so on. Um, and a lot more of the cyber attacks going on throughout the world in terms of uh, companies attacking small businesses. Small business. more than I think that is quite important because, yeah, you know, it's it's because, as I said before this, it's like people say, oh, it's not going to happen to me. It's going to happen to someone, a large company. The other thing about that, that um, figure there is that, as you know, apparently, 60% of the small businesses that are that that experience a breach go out of business six months later. I did not know that wonderful fact. There that's depressing. So if anyone's listened to this on a rainy Monday, I apologise. But, that, but that's what makes it more, even more important, right? Yeah. I mean, so, so, it's, so from an attack perspective, it's easier to attack 10 smaller companies yeah. uh, or the one the, rather than the one big company. You make, you make the same impact. Yes, absolutely. But it's a lot more difficult to attack the one. You may as well just go and attack the small. I'm not promoting it. Well, no, nah, I'm not promoting it. No, you're not promoting it. You're, 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 no. you're, you're, the state, you're staying the facts. It's the, yeah. the, 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 these guys that do it, they are going to probably, you know, go after the, the smaller more often because the, the, if the security is not in place, it's going to be easier to do. Yeah, the larger the larger corporate massive companies are a lot more difficult to attack. Yeah. Um, unless you are a hospital running on Windows XP <laughs> and decide you just want to click a link because <laughs> that's, that's just a different scenario, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Brilliant. Um, so yes, 
So Microsoft are now joined together and back on the topic of what it is. Yeah. It is uh, three SKUs. Okay, they're all, they've already been out. They've been out for a while now, but it's uh, Microsoft Office 365, EMS, and Windows 10 in a bundle. Okay. Yeah. Um, that is what Secure Productive Enterprise was. I'm going to keep banging on about it. It's the same thing. No, uh, you are keeping banging on about yeah. it, aren't you? Don't worry. I'm going to carry on. I think nah, we... I'll probably finish now. To be yeah, honest, we've, I think we've kind of got the idea that it's the, hint. it's the same thing. Yeah. Um, however, the, it is different in the management of the dashboard. So I'll give them that. Fair in enough. terms of how you manage the licenses, it's um, the SPI stuff was simply here are your licenses, assign them to the users, and that's it. The Microsoft 365 stuff, it, the management of the portal from um, editing whether or not any of your users can access the Windows Store or mobile phones to um, whether or not certain policies are set up through email, it's all done through the Office portal or the protection portal, they call it now, I think, um, rather than having to do it manually. So it is a lot better in terms of the management, but the general idea is the same. Sure. Um, so there are six offerings currently um, being released or released for Microsoft 365. Four of them are out now. Two of them are coming out next year. Okay. Um, we'll cover the three corporate ones here, um, the three main corporate ones. There is a fourth one, um, but that hasn't. It won't take up as much um, space in Microsoft's world as the other three. So. Yeah, there's, there's four corporate ones, two educational ones. The educational ones are not coming out till next year. Oh, okay. So 2018, if you're listening to this in the future, you may already be there. <laughs> What's it like? <laughs> Is Trump still around? I don't know. <laughs> so. Uh, ready for the purple slide deck, everyone? Yeah, here it here is. Here Look it is. at it. How can you hate that? Please, please comment below. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I like it. Simply put, Microsoft 365, uh, there are three main SKUs, and these are the ones that they class as main SKUs. Um, as I said, there are three others. So these ones start off with, you've got the business edition on the left, and then your two enterprise editions, so E3 and E5. You'll probably notice a pattern, very similar to Office 365. There is business versions and enterprise versions, exactly the same rules apply. Um, 300 seats for business cap, unlimited on the enterprise. Okay. Um, it does become quite annoying, obviously, because when you, you, you call up and customers want to talk about Microsoft 365, do they actually mean Microsoft 365 or do they mean Office 365 and then they actually mean Office 365 and you just wasted your time? Uh, because the names are all the same. They're pretty, they're pretty similar in regards to the naming. I don't know why Microsoft keep it so, so confusing. It but, can be confusing, absolutely. Yeah. Microsoft 365 is the all up, Office 365 is the office. That's the, that's the way they have to do it now. Um, so the business edition, as you can see on the screen, it comes with business premium. It doesn't come with all EMS. It only comes with Active Directory and Microsoft Intune. And then it comes with the Windows 10 Enterprise upgrade for your operating system. Uh, I say upgrade because these are not standalone operating systems. None of them are. So if you get Windows 10 in Microsoft 365 or Windows 10 on CSP in general, they are upgrade SKUs. They are not operating systems. You need a... So you need an operating system already on your hardware. Yep, you need a, uh, Windows 7, Windows 8.1 or Windows 10 Pro right. on your hardware before you even try and do the upgrade. Um, then you've got E3 and E5. So E3 is pretty standard once you see the pattern. Uh, Office 365 E3, EMS E3, Windows 10 E3. And E5 is Enterprise E5, EMS E5, and Windows 10 E5. The other three SKUs are Microsoft 365 F1, which uh, is bundling Office 365 F1, which used to be K1 back in the day. Sure. Um, yeah. Yammer and Staff Hub. So it's more of a it's, it's a front. I think they call it the frontline workforce SKU. Right. Um, and EMS and Windows 10. There okay. You. Okay. So, quick question. Yes. Enterprise mobility and security E3. Yes. And E5. Yes. What, what, are you going to talk about what the difference is in this? I or? am. You are? Okay. With I won't more ask the purple question slides. Now. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, because I know how much you like them. <laughs> we all love purple slides. Well, to be honest, it's blue um, descending into purple. I don't care. And the boxes are also the same. Right. So, yeah. Moving on. Yeah, to the same, to the same thing. <laughs> just the same thing, um, yeah. Just to re... So we're going to focus... This is mainly on the um, 
the enterprise side, sure. Right? Yeah. Because the business SKUs don't have everything in. So business premium, that's just a business premium package. The EMS, you're missing the information protection, which is quite important. But as it, for a small business, it's it's a decent, it's it's not a bad package to be honest. What you get with it and the price of it is pretty awesome. Fifteen pound RRP for that whole thing is. That's for the business not, one, yeah. Yeah, not really too shabby to be honest. Sure. Um. So yeah, E3. You've got your full office suite, so your Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Access, OneNote, Publisher, pa, that's it, all right, nearly. Um, Exchange Plan 2, SharePoint Plan 2, Skype Plan 2, and your uh, access to remote desktop functionality so you can have it on an RDS environment if you wanted to. Right, and um, I guess, I'm guessing on the business plan you don't have that functionality, do you? You don't have RDS, no. Okay. You've got the plan ones and no RDS. So. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, E5, um, you have everything E3 has, and then your... Um, Cloud PBX or Skype to Business, so you can use that as a breakout for phone system. Uh, customer Lockbox, Delve Analytics with Power BI, so your analytics piece, and Advanced Threat Protection for your email threat management. All right? Okay. Um, bear in mind that every single uh, additional piece that you can get in Office 365 and E3, you can add on to, to sorry, E5, you can add on to E3. Right. So you don't need to get if you want Power BI, you don't have to go down the E5 route. You just get E3 and bolt Power BI onto E3. Uh, I see. So basically, it's giving you the, the flexibility of choosing those now. Yes. Yeah. If So if you only, only wanted like the, the, the lockbox and the Power BI, you could choose those two add-ons, if you like, yeah. and add it to your E3. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. You can do whatever you want. Uh, if you want to go down the EMS E5 route, you're going to have to do that all through the E5 plan. So you can't add on plan twos of EMS. I'll get into that in a minute, but you can't add on plan twos of EMS to E3. You just have to plan ones and then that's it. Right, okay. All right, so um, Office 365 is all good. Now it's the security world. The joys of all the security. Right. <clears throat> there are two different types of uh, SKU in EMS. There's an E3 and an E5. Um, no matter which... Um, Microsoft 365 plan you go for, there will be elements or that version of it in there. Okay. Just to, to clarify here, if I can't mix an E3 with an E5, can I? I'm not going to get an E3 on the office and an E5 on the EMS. They're going to match right the way through. Correct? Yeah. 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 So the office 365 ones you can change. The EMS ones, if you need something in an EMS, you've got to buy the Microsoft 365 E5 SKU. You can't add them in. So. Sure. Same with the Windows 10. Um, okay. Yeah, you can't mix them. Okay. You can't do add-ons. So from from an from an office and um, productivity suite um, applications, you can add do add-ons. But from yeah. the security side and an operating system side, if you need it from that SKU, then you have to get that SKU. Yeah. yeah fair enough. Exactly. All right. Yeah. So um, EMS E3 is the first one. Uh, that comes with Active Directory Premium, Information Protection, and Microsoft Intune. That's the plan ones of those first two. Uh, if you buy Microsoft 365 Business, you get Active Directory and Intune. You don't get the information protection. So that's missing out of it. But if you buy Microsoft 365 E3, you get these three offerings. Okay? Right. Yeah, fair enough. So Active Directory is your single sign-on. Um, your password reset stuff. Um, it's been around for a long time now. Uh, yeah, it's it's... It's, I would say, the is it the most popular of the lot? Quite easily, I'd imagine. Yeah, I'd say Active Directory. You can get the basic one and the free one, but this is the premium one. Sure. And you know what? The good thing to point out is that, is that they, like you say, they have been around for ages. So what confused some people at the actual classroom cloud boot camp was that they were like, I can do single sign-on in Active Directory. I'm like, yeah, this is... Active yep. Directory, and, and what what you have to get the concept is is now this is all part of a bundle. You're buying it all together. Um, it's not that the technology pieces in that bundle are particularly new, but they are bundled together. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of the standalone SKUs are uh, not cost effective at all. Sure. Microsoft actually like you going for bundles rather than just single standalone offerings. Yeah. So. Yeah. Fair enough. Um. So that's the Active Directory. You then got information protection so uh that's microsoft's file encryption piece so we've got about file encryption on the literal file level of our email right okay and um, uh, the plan ones are a lot more manual so for for 
information protection to work, you need to kind of set up your rules of encryption and set up certain laws and so on so the actual files be encrypted themselves. So um, the plan twos, which are later on, are a lot more automatic. So they recognize if you're doing regular encryption of certain files, it can think ahead and encrypt it for you if you want it to. Sure. Um, but yeah, this is all the file encryption piece via uh, file transfers and so on. All right. And then you have uh, Microsoft Intune, which has also been around for quite a while. Uh, not as long as uh, Active Directory, uh, but yeah, quite a while. It uh, didn't used to be an EMS, used to be a standalone SKU, and it didn't go very well, so they kind of panicked and threw it in EMS, and that does really well, which is funny. <laughs> this uh, mobile app management. So on company phones and stuff, you can limit what apps people can download, first of all, if any. Um, you can stop certain apps talking to other apps, so you can have... Uh, social media tools, not talking to the camera and so on, so you can't take pictures on it, setting up company policies and, and regulating what they can and can't do on it. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of what you get in EMS, which okay. is bundled in the Microsoft 365 SKU. Um, also, information protection used to be called rights management. Yeah. They have a lovely tendency of changing names and not telling anyone. <laughs> and you've got to look through a price disk and say, what's this SKU? It's not now a case of that I think of it as a new product. The first thing I do now is think, right, which one's disappeared? He's changed the name, we got bored. <laughs> yeah. um, the EMS E5 stuff is, it's the same SKUs. So you have Active Directory Premium Information Protection, but they're the Plan 2s, not the Plan 1s. Fair enough. Right? Yeah. Um, the main difference between the two is that the P2s are a lot more automated and intelligent rather than the manual setups of P1. Got it, yeah. Okay. So Active Directory and P2 comes with all the stuff P1 does, but it's uh, uh, it gives you more of alerts and, and uh, analysis is around threats that are coming towards the business or your or your actual login itself. Sure, okay. And information protection, yeah, it's the intelligent encryption. So if I, if I were to write Phil Follett in a Word document and encrypt it, and send it to you. Um, the next time I wrote a Word document and wrote your name in, it would automatically encrypt it for me. Uh, or it'll ask yeah. you if I oh, wanted okay. to, because the last time that those that two was together. That was sure. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. And the group policies and the, and the rules and policies and stuff that you do for setting up encryption is it recognizes who you usually have in a group and tries to suggest people. It, it, yeah. You can turn that off as well, by the way. You don't have to have it. You can turn okay. off and stuff. So. All right. Mm. Um, the extra piece as well is Microsoft Cloud App Security. That is protection over certain software as a service applications running on the device. Right. Okay. So is, is it due to be these will be recognised applications that are running, but it notices the most common threats to access computers via those software uh, applications rather than sure. through the OS, and it, then right. you can monitor it. Right. Um, cloud app security you can bolt on. So that is the that is the one exception. So what you're yep. saying is the Active Directory and the information protection piece you can't bolt on. No, you can't. Um, but cloud but app you can. Cloud app you can. Because it's a completely separate SKU to everything else. Sure. It's, it's okay. a different product. So it's not an upgrade plan. It's a different product. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. That makes sense. And then you enter Windows 10. Lovely Windows 10. You've got to love Windows 10, man. Right. First of all, it is an upgrade SKU. Yes. It's not a standalone SKU. Okay. Sure. There are three different types of Windows 10 on CSP. There is Windows 10 E3, Windows 10 E3 local only, and Windows 10 VDA. In Microsoft 365, you get the main one, which is the Windows 10 E3. That's everything, all in one. Right. Just so it's covered. All right. Uh, so basically, it upgrades your operating system from 7, 8.1, or 10 Pro to Enterprise. Okay. Um, this is, these aren't all the features that, that come with it. This is just the main features that come with it. So the, mo the ones that, uh, like the, the flagship pieces, so to speak. Sure. Um, do you know what any of these mean, Phil? Um, on the spot. You have put me on the spot. It's just good. It means greater security. That's what it means. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of giving it away. It's... <laughs> right. Okay. Um, the... Okay. Should I... Should I show off my inner geek and go for the coolest one, in my opinion? Yeah, go for it. Um, the best one's Credential Guard. And why? Uh, and why? I hear you are. Yeah, why? Why did you get say your, that, Tom? Get your pens out, internet. <laughs> I don't know that much about it. I don't really know. <laughs> why do you think it's the coolest one? Why, why do you think that's okay, the best one? So why, Credential why Guard is, uh, is basically password protection at, uh, uh, at the hash key level. Okay. 
So which um, means I will get to that. Sorry, go on. So um, obviously, when you put a password into your computer, you're putting in a password, right? Yeah. Letters and numbers and stuff, or just the name of your dog, whatever you want. However, when you actually send that to the server, it doesn't go over like that. It goes over with the terms of hash keys. Ah, uh, okay. All right, so there, there's yeah. an underlining. I think they call it the NTLM, like like hash or something. It's a special like hash part of a user's password that you don't see, but the server receives it like Okay? Yeah. So once... Uh, an attacker who is trying to get into your company um, gets a valid username and the hash values, they can then get in. Got you. So they don't actually need uh, a, your physical password. They just need the username and the password hash values. And from that point, they're able to use the information to authenticate to via a remote server using the NTLM authentication stuff. And they just go in. That's it. Okay. So this c credential guard protects against that. Yes, exactly. That is pretty cool. Protects against that stuff. That is pretty cool. Geekiness. Yeah. Why? That was a good choice. That was a good choice. The purple wasn't a good choice, but that was a good choice of which I one to go for. I swear to God. Mm -hmm. When we when when this is when this is out there, and people can see it, I'm specifically asking anyone who gets this far in this specific video to email me. And say how much you like the purple. <laughs> yeah. Should actually tell them to email me because that would be annoying for me. I don't want it. No. <laughs> I want to see. <laughs> I want to see it proven. Yeah. I feel alone. Help you me. Are. You are definitely. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Shut up. Um, anyway, so. Yeah. Then you got the vice guard. So um, that's like an extra layer of defense around the operating system. So it's like it's like malware defense on the operating system level. Sure. Okay, um, app blocker management uh, is like um, the OS version of Intune. Okay. Yeah. So it locks down apps on an OS. And these so are the all, actual... sorry, but these so these are all addition to Windows Pro 10. Yes. Right. Okay. So someone who, for, for example, someone who comes and says, "Well, I've already I'm already running Windows um, when Windows 10 Pro. Um, why do I need to pay for the upgrade in, within the bundle?" these things fair enough cool so app blocker management locks it down and then the app virtualization is like a management tool of the apps on the device sure okay um then you've got the e5 stuff exactly the same minus one extra piece windows minus no sorry plus i was gonna say why are you paying extra, more for yeah it we're then? just taking it away <laughs> Yeah, go on. Microsoft decided that they just don't like you that much. They're taking away, but charging you more. Actually, that's not the first time this has happened. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. yeah just take away yeah. stuff and pretend we're just going to relaunch it. It's a good idea. Um, yeah, it's Windows Defender Advanced Threat Protection. So this is like a it's a cloud service um, that takes data uh, from like uh, sensors that are built into the operating system. Then it reflects that and builds like um, detections and recommended responses around what's happening. Okay. okay. The cool thing about this is it, it doesn't matter what anti-malware product is actually on the PC. So if you think about it, no matter what anti-malware product you install on this on your PC, yeah, it's only as good as what is known to a yes. block off. Yeah, right. So absolutely. it's the same yeah, yeah. as every antivirus. When you use like a, a antivirus on your computer, it's only as good as the update file that you have loaded on that day. Yeah. Absolutely. If something comes out in midday and you get that before your update runs it whenever you have it set to run out, you're screwed. Sure. Yeah. So you're saying that this doesn't work like that? No. So the ATP, the actual service, looks at the behavior of what's going on around the operating system and just reduces the impact of it, if any, like the impact of like the compromise. Right. Okay. Got you. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's it's a bit, it's it's more intelligent. It's never nothing is going to be perfect in regards no. to like. No antivirus or malware detection and so on it's just not going to happen um the reason antiviruses exist is because viruses exist first yeah that, that's exactly. it. the attacks that's will true. always exist before the viruses yeah. exist. yeah um that's just the way it is but this is it protects you to uh, the highest level that you possibly can sure sweet um so that's pretty much all of it that's microsoft 365 in a nutshell so microsoft 365 is a bundle of office 365 Windows 10, um, Windows 10, uh, um, what should we call, what's the word I'm looking for, Tom? I don't know, mate. 
So Windows 10 um, upgrade. Yes. Yeah. Well uh, and um, um, EMNS. Yes, exactly. All SKUs can be purchased on their own. But if you've got a company that is looking at fully securing uh, their 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 like user base and also having a full office install, you may as well buy it because it's cheaper this sure. way than it is. Recently. So let me ask you a question. Go away. What if I'm <laughs> go on? What if I'm currently running Office 365 and I decide I want to run Microsoft 365? Is yes. it is it quite is it easy to make that transfer? Uh, well, it depends how you purchase the first license. Right. Okay. Say I you purchase know. it. Say I, the easiest way. Say I purchased it through CSP. The best way, you mean? Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah we, you just you just uh, load on the 365 version and turn off the old one. Fair. Flip the users. Flip the users over. You, okay. So Microsoft 365 is only available to purchase through CSP and EA. Yeah. So okay. you can't buy it through Direct and you can't buy it through Open. Sure. So if you're looking at 365, as in Microsoft 365. You have to move to one of those two avenues first. Fair enough. The reason yeah. it would be a bit more difficult is because open licenses have a non-refundable. Um, they're then they're non-refundable. Sure. Of yeah. You redeem the key and that's it. Yeah. Um, you'd have to wait for your agreement to finish or to take finish. the hit on the loss. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Okay. So so that is Microsoft 365 in a nutshell. Yes.